Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here, and well, I've got the little USB load on the bench, and I'm going to get the multimeter out, and I did a little bit of reverse engineering, and it's actually a little, I don't know, simpler slash complicated than I thought. The, I tested it with the um, power only port and it doesn't draw power for the fan from this port. The fan does not turn on when you plug this in. It's only the power for the circuit and maybe driving the transistor. By the way, that is a tip 122. I didn't confirm that. Uh, but the circuit is actually quite interesting. Let me turn it on. You can hear the fan spin up. So we've got... Oops, so it's positive. There we go. Not a good connection. There we go. 512 coming in. Goes to this little capacitor. And... And it goes through the board and over here and then it's got this diode which jumps over to 4.8 and goes to this tiny little 3 volt linear regulator that's ground and that's input okay so ground input output outputting three volts but over here you can see 4.84 if I jump over to this power input port see oh there's a teeny tiny bit of voltage one and a half volts that's weird but on the other side 4.8 volts that's the same voltage as here, and those two are connected. So the input of this um, linear regulator has a diode from the power input, and also from these guys, and a diode from this guy going to... So these both these diodes point to the linear regulator, and that way power can't backfeed to either one can't go out this port or back through there so yeah so that 3 volts goes all the way over here 3 volts to I'm guessing an EEPROM because it saves the settings and stuff and pin 1 over here got it of the microcontroller I'm sure it also goes to the um, LCD. There's no other regulator, so it's three volts to the LCD. Um, except I don't want to. I haven't found that port, and don't want to quite poke it. Except, nope, that's ground. Oh, what? What? Wait, 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 wait! I just found it. It's right here. This guy right here. It's the first connection from the screw hole over. Now, so you might be wondering, well, what the heck is this um, switch mode circuit for? Well, first I thought it was a buck converter, but then I was tracing out where the fan gets its power. It has 9 volts. So that runs all the way under the LCD all the way over to here to this capacitor in the diode and the diode is pointing this way to its output 9.16 volts so yeah it's taking I forget where its input is is it input right here? nope mm, it's got to be one of these guys over here I don't want to get in there and short it out. 
But yeah. It's got 9.1 volts going out. Running from only the power input. So it's boosting the voltage to 9 volts to run the fan at its lowest speed. So let's spin up the current. I have no clue what the current is. I'm just going to put it there. And then you can watch the voltage rise as the fan speeds up. So no pulse width, no um, um, switching transistor. It's using this buck or boost converter circuit to give the fan higher voltages. So we're at eleven point seven. 11.9 see how high it goes 12.1 2 3 4 5 This is probably a 12 volt fan because you can run them from for higher voltages. I highly doubt it's going to go all the way to 24. It could. I don't quite doubt that. That is a what? 47 microhenry inductor. That's weird. Oh, oh. We're at 13. Still kind of climbing. Might have to pull that fan off and see just what its raining is. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video, let it climb, and get back to you. By the by the way, the temperature right now I have no clue. Forty-four degrees Celsius. Alright, so we're around fifty-one, maybe fifty-two degrees Celsius, and it's at fifteen point three volts. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to have to test that, see what that fan is. Let's see the voltage drop down as we cool it off. All the way to minimum. It's going down, switch sides. Yeah, well, it's just going to spin down to 13 volts, I mean 9 volts, 9.5 like it started at. So let's see what fan it's using. Uh, hmm, the LCD is connected to the fan. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Alright, I'll leave that there. 
pause the video and pull the fan off. Okay, so I just undid those screws, pulled the LCD back, and what does that say there? 24 volt, 150 milliamps. CJY, well, what do you know? That's cool. What's this? Got some goo over here. What is that? What is that bearing grease? The fan's bearing? It's over on this side. It is the side that the LCD's connected to. But why would the sticky tack that it's using. I don't know. There you have it. 24 volt fan running on a boost converter. That's interesting. So, yeah. It's got a couple other interesting bits about it. Like the um, uh, Type C has some extra cir special circuitry. I'll connect that back up later. Here, it's got that's the Type C connector. It's got this little six pin jobby. And then this and this. This one is connecting that to ground. Then this connecting ground to something else. So I don't know. Maybe that's over current reverse polarity. I'm not sure. Looks like all the rest of the stuff is just tied right in. And see that goes to the layer, that goes to ground. The Oh, that's the lightning. That's the Apple Lightning port. This is Type C. My bad. So the lightning, that has the special protection. I don't know. Tell me what you what you guys know. I might be able to find the ports on that, or the part numbers. But yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.